I was working for a gentleman who owned 20 restaurants and nightclubs, and I was able to spend enough time to see his organization, and then I said, I think I can do that. Maybe a bit arrogantly, maybe a bit naive, but yeah. we did it. There's times to lean into the trend. There's times to completely go against the trend. Mm. So we leaned into it in 2017. Same with Catch. There were many nights where Mark and I would sit at Catch like, I wish people can see what's going on here right now. Mm. The Rangers, the Knicks, uh, the Knicks were playing the Lakers and the Lakers were there and Celebrity X, Y, and Z is there. I wish people can see it and they couldn't. And then all of a sudden social media comes out and they could. Right. When, when, when Drake performed at 10 June in 2010, when we just handed him a bottle of Grey Goose, There's no, no one knew, media. nobody knew. So it was cool, but I have no, you have to be there. Yeah. So you can lean into that with the restaurant and the fitness business now because people who are there, if they choose to be seen, you could tell the whole world. So you don't need to be there. But now everyone's got an Instagrammable wall or experience. Yeah. That everyone takes photos in front of at every gym. That's right. And I, and I think we were really big on that in the beginning. And that is something that I think set us apart. But you could put anything somewhere. But the connectivity to that image still has to be backed by the brand. The product, yeah. That's right. So it's not that people were like, oh, if that moment was at a bad gym, I don't think anyone takes a photo in right, front of it because right, right. it's not, it's an entire package. They don't care. It's not right. one or the other. It's not like, so like if, if Coca-Cola calls me right now, like, hey, we got to make this product really cool. Can you just give us one, one of your designs that you did at Rumble and we'll just take a picture of it? I was like, no, 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 no. First, you got to move back 10 steps. Coca-Cola, you have to be cool. Mm. You have, like, there's 25 things for that person to take that photo in front of that. Yeah. So like I said, you lean into that, right? Everyone did it. And now, uh-oh, that's not working anymore. So when we were thinking about our design for the Rumbles 2020, 2021. New studios. New studios. I'm, I'm scrapping it back to simplicity. Really? That's right. With all the gyms or just with the new ones? With the new ones. Oh. And it doesn't mean that we won't have Instagrammable moments because I still think people uh -huh. want to show what they do. And I think our product is unique in the way that they will want to show something. But it's not going to be the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we put Basquiat's up in the first couple of studios. Yeah. Not real ones, obviously, can't afford that. But I thought it was cool, and I had no really reason for it. I was just like, you know, I really love this artist, and people don't really get to see it, so why don't we just put up a print of it, mm -hmm. a really good print, and let people take photos of it, and that was done. But now it's done. Yeah. So that's the challenge. You need to stay constantly relevant, constantly evolving, and sometimes you just have to take risks. I always, I always use the analogy of like a basketball game, right? Teams up by 20. They stop shooting. They just try to run the clock out to get through the 24 defense, seconds. They yeah. play defense to get through the end of the game. And that's where the other team goes on a run. I don't want anyone else to go on a run. So at catch, constantly innovating with the food, constantly innovating with the design, constantly innovating with our social media. So our social media campaign and our marketing campaign, we have no care for critics. Mm. We're opening catch steak in September. I gotta try it out, man. Yeah. New York, right? Not in LA? In New York. Lighter, brighter, fresher take on steaks, smaller portions, mm. shareable. Um, a really unique experience on steak where it doesn't just like, you get the filet, I get the strip, here's our side of potatoes. Everything comes as it's ready, so it's fresh. Mm. Taking out a lot of the like lard and everything like that, so super lean wow. cuts, but premium cuts, so every bite has an amazing flavor. One of the things that you were I'm sure a lot of people have asked you is like, why does a nightclub restaurant guy think he can start fitness? Right. Why? And be successful it? and... Because that's that 5%. Yeah. And that's that 5% where we were, I was working for a gentleman who owned 20 restaurants and nightclubs. And I was able to spend enough time to see his organization. And then I said, I think I can do that. Maybe a bit arrogantly, maybe a bit naive, but yeah. we did it. and. Then when we opened up that first nightclub, there was a restaurant above us. Mm -hmm. And we got to watch how they operated that restaurant. And Mark and I looked at ourselves and said, I think we can do that. Because mm -hmm. we got to see it. So we did have some data. Mm -hmm. We were able to see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. And then they so say, well, why, would you, why didn't you open up a 60-seat restaurant for your first one? But we opened up a 350-seat restaurant <laughs> for our first one. So, and then that was successful. So why wouldn't you think you can do it?